do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students now today we will discuss about question number 6 of 2014 jwe advanced physics paper 2014 so let us solve the question number 6 friends let us solve question number 6 the question says a student is performing an experiment with using a resonance column in resonance column the experiment is uh, conducted to find the velocity of sound in air so that is used to find that now he says that and a tuning fork of frequency 244 hertz is used so the frequency that is using is 244 he is told that the air in the tube has been replaced so there is a, a tube which contains some normal air but then somebody told him that this air is removed and placed replaced by another gas some gas is filled and the air is removed assume that the column remains filled with gas now the air is replaced by gas if the minimum height at which resonance occurs now uh, with the gas and the vibrating tuning fork there is a resonance occurring at a, a height of 0.350 plus minus 0.005 meter the question is the gas in the tube is which of the following is the gas that is present in the tube the options are neon nitrogen oxygen or argon and uh, <coughs> some these informations are given to you uh, under root of 167 rt is this and this is this value so you don't have to calculate you have to substitute this value as directly this is a given and root 10 upon m for each of these gases are given root 10 upon m so root 10 upon m m here is 20 so it is 7 by 10 root m by 10 by root m 10 here is 10 and m is 28 so it is given here also 10 by 32 and 10 by 36 is given so that you don't have to calculate too much so therefore this is given now which of these gases uh, which one of these gas is present then we have to find the velocity of the um, gas velocity of sound in that uh, gaseous medium the velocity of sound in this uh, medium we will calculate using the formula because we know that first of all the whenever <coughs> the we know the frequency is given it is 244 hertz the because it is filled uh, this is a tube which is dipped in water so this end acts like closed end so is closed end and uh, resonance occurs like this with some gases present here whichever is gas is that and the height is given that is the length of this is given as 0.350 plus minus 0.005 meter so we have to find the wavelength because this is known and this antidote we are not taking into consideration the end correction so this is known and antidote this distance is lambda by 4 and this lambda by 4 corresponds to this length so i write lambda by 4 equals to 0.350 plus minus 0.005 from here lambda equals to 
फोर टाइम्स थ्री फाइव जीरो प्लस माइनस फाइव इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दैट यू विल गेट वन पॉइंट फोर डबल जीरो प्लस माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो दिस इज द वैल्यू विल गेट इन मीटर नाउ द वेवलेंथ इज नोन द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नोन वट इज द वेलासिटी ऑफ साउंड द वेलासिटी ऑफ साउंड विल बी फ्रीक्वेंसी इन टू वेवलेंथ सो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज दिस टू फोर्टी फोर and wavelength is this so this is multiplied with 1.400 plus minus 0.020 if i multiply th those two i will get the velocity you multiply and as that you will get the velocity you will get as i am just uh, writing that because of, if you multiply these two you multiply at home it is very easy but then i'll write what we have got this we have got 341.6 plus minus 4.88 meter per second so this is the value you will get after you multiply this number with this number so that is the thing okay now now the situation is which gas is uh, present in the tube the gas that is present in the tube must have velocity around 340 or 341 it should not be uh, more than that so let us find the velocity of uh, sound in uh, those gases mediums separately you have to find for uh, any gas i write the velocity can be found using the formula of velocity is frequency into wavelength frequency into wavelength and that is uh, the wavelength part the frequency into wavelength wavelength we have already got frequency i have got uh, gamma r t by m this is the formula for velocity gamma r t by m <coughs> now gamma t by m i can uh, because this uh, unit is in uh, grams i mean is grams so i'll convert that so basically to simplify this gamma t by m because gamma for uh, diatomic monoatomic that you have to see because the gases are given as neon neon is uh, monoatomic so for one what to be gamma is 1.67 this is a uh, neon i'll use this one here for neon gas and for diatomic gas like uh, nitrogen or oxygen given in a question for nitrogen or oxygen i'll use 1.4 similarly so i've got only this uh, type neon and argon so for neon and argon <coughs> so for neon and argon they are uh, monoatomic i will use 1.67 that is known and uh, for uh, nitrogen and oxygen i will 1.4 so that value you will substitute here 1.67 here for this two and uh, 1.4 for this but 67 it is in decimal so i multiply 100 and divide 100 so then what i'll get 100 gamma rt by 100 m to simplify that and i will uh, use this formula for each of the gases given and see what is the velocity i am getting now first is first option is uh, neon okay i will write for neon for neon the velocity of neon gas will be 100 gamma of neon which is uh, 1.67 so it is 1.67 rt you don't have to solve 
and 100 and m. This m is in, uh, in the question, the molar masses m in grams are given. You can see here the molar masses are in grams and this is in joules and moles. So, to convert that into kilogram, okay. Now, so therefore, we'll uh, express m in uh, kilogram. So, this uh, m into 10 raised to minus 3 so that will be in a kilogram mold this will be in kilogram mold okay that will be in kilogram mold so i'll take the root substituting those values this becomes 167 rt sorry 167 rt this is 167 rt divided by this will be 10 because this from this 10 will come up and m the root of everything root of this also root of this also why i'm writing this because root of 10 upon m m here is uh, for this gas i'll use here this is 167 rt already we got here and 10 upon m but m here neon it is molecular weight is 20 so it is like that so what is the use of that in place of 10 by 20 root i will take 7 by 10 in place of 167 rt root i will take 640 so i will multiply 640 with 7 upon 10 which is given in your question if i multiply those two numbers the 0 0 cancels and you will get 4 4 8 4 for 8 meter per second this is the speed that i'm getting in neon gas speed of sound in neon gas is 448 so the gas in the tube cannot be this because we have got the velocity <coughs> to be 340 plus minus something so this should be the velocity this is uh, more than that so this is this may not be that gas present so option number one is not correct yeah the speed i'm getting is more so it is not possible let us check option number two with nitrogen and see what we'll get so let us check for the option number two which is nitrogen so in nitrogen we'll have molecular weight 28 we'll use and see what we are getting for option number two the gas is nitrogen the molecular weight of nitrogen is uh, 28 and given 10 by 28 is uh, what's given 3 by 5 okay this is uh, given in the question that is given and you have to write it now again i will find the velocity of nitrogen gas velocity of sound in nitrogen gas that is uh, under root of gamma that formula i will use okay let me tell you that formula gamma 100 gamma that we have already done rt to make it a uh, whole number divided by um, then it is uh, 100 m 10 raised to minus 3. This is what I am going to use for all each of these gases. So, I use this formula again. Gamma, because it is nitrogen, it is diatomic. Nitrogen is diatomic, it has got two atoms, N and N. So, therefore, gamma for nitrogen will be 1.4. And 1 1.4, if I put with a multiplication of 100, it becomes 140. RT divided by into 10 divided by m root separately we will have this because this 10 will go up m will be there so that is 140 rt under root 10 upon m which is 10 upon 28 because the gas is nitrogen 10 upon 28 under root 3 by 5 this 140 rt under root we will see from here 140 rt 590 so i'll put 590 multiplication with 3 by 5 if you multiply these two you will get a number like 384 you will get a number like 384 
meter per second. This velocity of sound in nitrogen gas is also greater than the velocity we got from the experiment is greater than 341. So this may not be the option because velocity should be equal to this or nearby. It should be less than that, but it should not be greater than that. So this is option number two is also not correct. Not correct. So if option number two is not correct, let us move to option number three. If uh, the velocity of that gas is uh, less than that or not, we'll see that option number three. The gas here is uh, given oxygen. Molecular weight 32, 10 upon 32 under root AS has said you take this as 9 by 16. You can see the question 10 by 32, 9 by 16. Okay. Now, again, we'll uh, use velocity of oxygen using the formula 100 gamma RT divided by 100 m. 10 raised to minus 3 whole root. If I substitute the value of gamma, oxygen is diatomic. Gamma of oxygen, again I will take 1.4. So this will become 140 RT under root into this will become 10 by M to 10 by 32 under root. 140 RT already we have got 140 RT is uh, 590 in SI unit. 10 by this is given 9 by 16. So you multiply these two numbers together and you will get something like uh, 351 point something, maybe 875 meter per second. This number again is uh, greater than 341. So this may not be the answer. This option number 3 is also wrong. I will advise that if all three options are wrong, you better, without solving, you better take the option number four because the only one is left. So that is must be the answer. But let us check whether option four is correct or wrong. So let us solve for option number four. The option four is uh, the gas is argon given in the question argon. This molecular weight is uh, 36 so 10 upon 36 root that value you have to calculate already given in your question it is 17 upon 32 17 upon 32 so again i will take uh, the velocity of sound in argon gas that is uh, 100 gamma rt divided by 100 m 10 raised to minus 3 this is the molecular weight this gamma of argon, argon is monoatomic gas, so therefore it is 1.67. Multiply by 100, if I substitute here, it will 167 RT. This part will be there. Into multiplication of 10 divided by M, M is 36. 167 RT, that is given in your question 640. So it will be 640 multiplied by, this is also given, that is 17 by 32. 32 to the 64 so it is 20 so it is around 340 so the answer is 340 meter per second since this velocity that is the velocity sound in uh, argon is this and from experiment we got velocity as 341 and uh, plus minus 2.6 plus minus something 4.88 that we have already calculated this this is less than that so this answer is possible so the gas which is present in the tube must be argon gas because if you take argon gas then we will have this situation that will have uh, the uh, resonance because that velocity is possible, so we'll have the resonance, and therefore the option number four is the correct answer to this question. Okay, thank you.